Hello, everyone. I'm Bailey Smallwood, longtime listener, first time speaker. <laughs> My parents are Andy and Anita Smallwood. My first memories of, are of the pictures and the stories of me attending Rotary events. Here's a picture of me at my first Rotary Institute. Mike Pinson was the RI director and I was almost two years old. Growing up, I always loved listening to my dad's speeches. There are many things that he said that stuck with me, but one that prevailed more than the rest was when he got nervous for a speech. He stopped and told himself, what am I worried about? I'm in a room full of friends. That is what Rotary is, a very large room of friends connected from around the world. My sister and I used to love singing the Rotary song, R-O-T-A-R-Y, that spells Rotary, at Rotary Clubs. <laughs> when I was three years old, I attended the Rotary Institute in Corpus Christi, Texas, and Greg Pod was the governor-elect trainer at the time. He knew that I liked to collect the Rotary business cards, and so he invited me into the governor-elect training room. He told me that every one of the governor-elects had a Rotary pitcher card and that I could have them. I gave a big smile and I started to go around the room and collect them. However, Greg stopped me and said that I must earn them and that I could have them if I sang the Rotary song. Without hesitation, I told him to hold Puppy, my favorite stuffed animal, and I began singing. I then collected the business cards and I was the happiest little girl in the world. That was probably the highlight of my singing career. I'm surprised that I was not nervous then because I am nervous now. However, this is just a room full of friends. I've had a chance to meet a lot of Rotarians and a lot of past Rotary presidents from many countries. Here's a picture of me with past president Kalyan Banerjee and Bonoda. Another favorite is past president Frank Devlin. I've known him all my life and when you meet Frank, he will always give you a big hug. When I was six years old, I met president D. Cayley. My sister and I were attending Rotary Institute and we recognized him. We ran up to him and hugged him. He was friendly, however, he did not know what to do with two little girls wrapped around his legs. We then learned that many cultures do not hug, they bow. When I was 10 years old, we had dinner with Rotary friends from Brazil. My parents' friends had their granddaughter with them who was a little older than me. For dinner, we ate pizza and the grandmother looked at her granddaughter and gave her a disapproving look for eating the pizza with her hands. The grandmother said, I'm sorry, the granddaughter said, but grandmother, this is America, they eat pizza with their hands. Even after she said that, the grandmother looked at her and still said no. She put the pizza down and began to eat it with her knife and fork. I asked her if it was improper to eat pizza in Brazil with your hands. She replied that it was not proper. I said, okay. My father later told me that he was proud of me because he said most American children would have responded that that's crazy. My response showed him that I have learned that many cultures act in different ways and it's all to be respected. Later that year, we had dinner in Berlin with President Tanaka, his wife, and a few friends. During the dinner, President Tanaka asked me what do you want to be. I thought about it for a minute and I replied, a Rotarian. President Tanaka then raised his arms up and with a big smile said, hi. He then gave me a rotary pin and told me that someday when I'm a Rotarian, he hoped that I would wear that pin. I felt very special. My parents have had a lot of exchange students and they call them their rotary daughters. We went to Poland and met rotary daughter Ola. I fell in love with her and her family. Since then, rotary daughter Anne from Denmark and her family have come to visit and rotary daughter Madi and family from Australia. I now understand how quickly Rotary can make us a family. These Rotary daughters are my sisters. During my junior year of high school, I made friends with four exchange students that were from different exchange programs. I was soon able to put the cultural experiences that I've learned in Rotary to good use. I first met Meryl from Germany, then came Alex from Spain and Kana from Japan and finally Zone from Thailand. Their cultural differences and personalities created some initial conflict. Meryl's English-speaking style was very direct and blunt, Kana and Zone were very shy, and Alex was very talkative and liked to greet you with a hug. Kana and Zone didn't really know how to respond to it because their culture, I'm sorry, because they come from a culture where you bow and don't really hug. The cultural differences inadvertently caused some hurt feelings. I was able to get everyone to talk to each other and overcome their cultural differences. Being involved with Rotary not only helped me mature, but it also made me eager to be friends with the foreign exchange students instead of keeping to myself. 
Growing up in Rotary, I've had a lot of opportunities to travel and to participate in service projects. I've had a lot of opportunities to make lasting friendships with people in my community and from all over the world. Being involved in service and Rotary service projects has opened the doorway for me to become more involved in other organizations rather than being shy. Should children grow up in Rotary? Definitely. It enriches lives no matter your age. Lastly, I hope that someday in the future, I will be able to wear past President Tanaka's rotary pin is truly my own. Thank you.